if I really want to build it in Rio. Yes, of course, this was the idea from the beginning. I'm a very, very big car fan, a car addict, since I'm uh, eight years old. I start reading Autobild every day and, uh, and uh, my, all my life is around the car. Here there is a V8 and uh, a big V8 and um, I'm really really a big car fan. Unfortunately I was not very rich when I, I was young so the only way uh, I can enjoy all this uh, beautiful car developed in the 80s was to buy it and model. Cars is all my life and uh, I would like if I can do it I would like to, to buy all the cars of course so unfortunately I have no space and no money to do this kind of thing so I did all my dream cars in model cars so before working in the model car industry I was not a real designer I was a guy who took the drawing made by the designer and make it working because some of the designers they like to design very crazy things but we have to produce it after so all my experience before model car was in the automotive industry and I used to work for a different uh, spare part company or car manufacturer like Peugeot, Porsche or something like this but at the end of the day it was not so funny and doing model cars today is much more fun. If I can introduce Solido in a few words, uh, let's say that Solido is a very old model car company created in uh, 1932. Uh, it was one of the first die cast company in the world Solido today is still a leader in the model car industry. Even if the company bankrupt a few times, is still reborn every time and come back on the market. We are doing model cars for around 20 years and um, everybody in the car industry just look at us like, oh, they do small cars, they do little cars. We said, okay, guys, uh, why not um, showing to everybody that we can also do real cars? Um, the idea of the Kaisa was to do a project car. I mean, a project car is a, is a, a project where we are going to do uh, to remake all the car. The shape of the cars, body, interior, rims, lights, everything. So we were looking to find a, a project. So um, we have been uh, selecting a few cars like classic BM, classic Mercedes, classic, classic French car. And um, at the end of the day, we say, okay, why not choose a Porsche? I did explain to Kaisil exactly what uh, I need. I showed him some sample and we did uh, mix many, many cars. And uh, my idea to, was to do a GT car with a pure shape, without bumper at the back to show the engine. And, and finally, the result um, uh, from the first design uh, we received from, uh, from Kaisil was quite uh, matching our expectation. At that time, I remember that Kaisil also had some uh, air inlets on the front and the rear of the car, which is, uh, look very similar from, from the inlet from the 991 GT3 RS. But for me, my target was to do a pure GT car, so I did ask him to remove it and uh, we made a small modification on the exhaust on the front bumper and in a few let's say um, two three weeks all the design was closed um, i remember the first drawing made by kizil was done in five days which is quite fast to do to rebuild a full body i say it was exactly what i was expecting but how my colleague react from the when they saw the 3D uh, final result was quite impressive. Everybody was very happy, and uh, it was a surprise I made to my colleague to show them uh, uh, what was the final idea for the Kaiser project, and uh, everybody was uh, quite impressed about what Kizil and I done. If we had a deadline for this project, of course, yes, we had a deadline because uh, we did rent uh, the Le Mans circuit for three days to, uh, for a big party. And um, that was the idea to introduce our project and to finish and introduce our project during the big car show. So the date was fixed and the schedule was tight. At the end of the day, the schedule was tight. It was the first time I uh, chose to do a real car.